in here i talk about how to train tesseract for custom funds there are several steps need to consider when training the tesseract for custom funds uh, first you need to download the tesseract for windows 10 you can go to this link and you can go to this link and download a tesseract version 4 point using this link can and also you need to download the qt box editor to edit the box files and you can download qt box editor using the, this site after completing all these steps uh, first uh, i will describe about the main steps need to consider when training tesseract for custom fonts uh, first of all uh, we want to make the box files the uh, so when uh, after making the box files these are this is the cmd command for the making the box file and also then the second step is the uh, create the t, uh, tr file training file compound it will create the compounding image file and the box file and also in the third step we extract the chart set from the box files and also in the step 4 we create a font properties file based on our needs in the uh, based in 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 here we use font properties in the font properties main uh, syntax is font name uh, uh, italic bold mono space serif and fracture we can use 0 for 0 1 for these properties after that uh, in step in after that we do these steps step 6 and step 7 i will consider one by one and one by one and explain first of all uh, in tesseract to train the cust custom fonts we should rename the image as this using this syntax uh, i will create new folder and in this image i will get uh, this receipt and rename into this file format the file format uh, file format standard is language name font name exp file number and file extension as uh, an example i will use this font type and i will rename this and after that the second step is to generate the box file so we need to open cmd and in the tesseract installation you need to in, in, uh, you need to insert the in, environment variable environmental variable to the yeah, the tesseract folder found in the program files uh, like this like this in path directory you should in, include uh, installation folder of tesseract ocr after downloading so we will use cmd commands in tesseract after that after opening cmd into the this directory we need to create the box files the main command used to create the box file is i will show you like this tesseract tesseract font name image name image name and the image extension and make the this command make this command i will provide all the these these files in the uh, video description i will copy this path
and also this is the after uh, creating the box file this is the hard part you need to uh, edit the box file manually in here i created the tesseract shell script for running the automate this process i will also include the description in include this link to download the shell script now in here we will edit like this one dot png after creating box file well, there is a mistake in the path directory in here i will rename the image to test lang as for the easy purpose and I will run the code again. Run the code again. And in here we I use exp zero. I will rename it. then after that you can see after then you can see box file is generated this is the old file wrong file i will edit and this is the uh, box file we need to edit after that after that we need to edit this box file using the qt box editor now i will open the qt box editor to edit the box file we created i will open the path where the ima image created this is the image box file we created and i will uh, in open the box file i will open the box file and you can see now the this is the hard part we we, we want to do uh, in here we want to manually edit the uh, each part each wrong part identify in the identify in the tesseract so uh, by clicking one by one we can add rows and delete the rows and we can change the letters uh, we can in here we this is in we we identify tesseract identify this is right and also we can we want to check each one by one and correct that so uh, so in here in here this foot L the uh, one is identified uh, wrong in tesseract using uh, like L so we want to rename it like one after that I will after all this is steps done we will save this box file okay the this is more time consuming I will uh, I will skip that for now after saving the next step is after editing box files we need to uh, create the training data so we use the these uh, these commands in here we can in the step 2 in here we create the uh, in this step we compound the image file and box file so we use this command tesseract language name font name exp and and file extension and uh, this box dot train uh, cmd command i will run it in the cmd in here you can see after creating the box file and editing and saving it we uh, run this command uh, this will generate the uh, generate the other files we need to we need in the train process and also in the step 3 we extract the char set uh, from the box file uh, in here we use this command 
unit asset extractor and language name uh, font name the box file I will run this command uh, in here you can see the you can see this these files are created uh, unit asset file and the unit asset file we created so first we will just move on to the other steps in this step we will create the font properties file based on our needs these are the main syntax we need to consider in, I, in here we use these this default properties and also in here we can see the font properties file also created in uh, in another step we use this command to combine the unit asset file these are the standard methods described in the tesseract documentation after that you can see uh, combining is done you can see these files are created shape table, vm table, in temp and all these files will be created created let's move on to the other step in step 6 we use this command to combine training in here I use the language name as this slang so I want to rename it after renaming this file we have done the, this command in the cmd and also after this step you have the no prompter file this file is created after this step in this step in the last step uh, in the last step maybe we want to rename this shape table in temp and pf table non prompt file to the language name dot shape table like that so we should rename these files After renaming these files, we should create the .test data file. So we use this command to create the sorry train data file, in, uh, and also so we in, this is the last step. We use the combined test data dot test data dot lang. Lang is the this is the uh, language name we defined in the defined in the step one. After that, we create the we run this cmd command after creating this uh, after running this command the dot train data file is created now you can see this test lang dot train data file is created so this is the last uh, train data file we created after editing the box files if you want to create more you may create and edit more box files this will lead to the you can recursively train images and get the accurate result using the images and box file editing and com combine the all the box file editing was test lag so this one should be move to the uh, move to the See program files tesseract OCR test data folder and these are the other test data fold test data train data files train data files in the tesseract and we do this 
you paste, you paste this this folder train data file this you can see testland dot train data file so to use this file in the OCR recognition we use uh, we use uh, in the language tab we use the our created train data file you can run the this command tesseract testland dot arial this is the image name and this is the output text so output text created in the output text created in the OCR now we will run in the language section we use the test lang data train data we created after creating this we run this command after that we can see that the uh, output text file is created using the fonts train data we created uh, you can see output text file is created if you make the changes by correcting the errors uh, in default in the resurrect you see in that we have in the previous step we recognize in the box file this one as cell so in this step we uh, recorrect it to the correct one uh, so making many images and train the data and combine to the one da train data file you can uh, increase the accuracy of the tesseract and if there are any questions feel free to comment and I will provide the, all the details and the command used in the this video in the video description you can see I create the shell script to run automate this process also after editing the box file I will provide all the details in the video description if you like subscribe the channel thank you I am to Deepak thank you